times in Genesis 1 and 2 God said according to their kind vegetation and animal world was created according to their kind but you and I were made not according to their kind his kind you are God kind you carry an image and likeness of God you carry that image that's why when they brought a coin to Jesus and they said Jesus should we pay taxes and Jesus says give me the coin what did he do he looked at the coin and he said whose image is on the coin they said Caesar's he says give to Caesar whose image is on the coin see when I look at you I see the image of God therefore you belong to God you don't belong to sin you don't belong to the devil you don't belong to people's labels you belong to God because God's image is on you come on somebody give God some praise if you feel dirty it's because you let your body be your foundation now some of us in here today you walk around and you feel great and not because you know who you are in Jesus it's because you got biceps and triceps and your skin is stretched really beautifully and you don't got those pimples but I gotta warn you after 40 no matter how many lotions you put in there is someone who's gonna look better than you there's always somebody who looks better than you and I want to tell you today that good looks is a gift from God but it's also a great temptation Joseph was being tempted because he was good looking so for those of us who are like man I just wish I want to be good looking spare may the Lord spare you from that whatever the looks that you have praise God for them I always this is a bad thing to say but I'm gonna say it anyway uh, I say one of the reasons that I was a virgin at the age of 24 and when I married to my wife is because I wasn't good looking it's fine as you can laugh at me right it's a little fine one time I'll let you laugh uh -huh. and when I was younger I used to think oh man I wish I would have looked like somebody else better but then I grew up and I realized one thing you know you don't have to have the best looks to marry a good girl as a guy most of the girls they flirt with good-looking guys they don't marry them girls settle for guys who have something in their brain and something in their wallet and some good-looking brothers are so busy on their looks that they have nothing in their brain and nothing in their wallet so brother you know if you got some tree in your garden it don't look good don't let that tree define you get busy work on your career get some stuff going why because at the right time don't ever believe in that lie that just because you are not maybe as good looking as somebody else you'll never get married you'll never have a great life all of that is a lie of the devil you have to refuse to eat from the tree of your appearance good appearance is a gift from God we should take care of our bodies don't get me wrong we should work out we should eat the greens the vegetables we should drink a lot of water we should drink protein we should do all of that we should look the best we can but good looks is not a good material to build your identity on you cannot change sometimes the tree in that garden but you are responsible not to eat from that tree you know one of the things that I had to learn is I cannot change my body even though I tried I had two eye surgeries not because I couldn't see out of four siblings and both parents I'm the only guy who does not wear glasses and eye contacts so everybody in my family has glasses or, uh, or things they put inside of their eyes kind of scary to help them see I don't so I don't have a problem with vision the two surgeries that I had did not do with the vision. It had to do to improve my appearance. There was a third surgery that was scheduled and they said after the third surgery, if I would sleep, one eye would be left open. And I was like, oh my goodness, well, they will recruit me for Harry Potter movie or something. I was like, there's no way I'm settling for like some scary stuff. And so I said, no, I'm fine. I'm not going to go to be looking like a crazy guy when I sleep. I can tell you one thing is that the surgeries, the ministry, today being known, none of that cures the insecurity. What cures insecurity is eating from the trees in your garden. There is a tree of life in your garden. It's called the tree of God's word. It says that you are righteous and you are fearful and wonderfully made.
if you do if you walk a little bit further there's another tree it says that you are worth dying for because the blood of Jesus was spilled on your behalf just go a few feet away and you will see there is another tree that says the Holy Spirit the God lives inside of you you know God's address is you go a little bit further and you will see another tree that says that you received abundance of grace and you have the gift of righteousness to reign in life go a little bit further there's another tree in the garden that says you are royal priesthood and the chosen generation go another few feet and you will see and there is a tree that says your citizenship is in heaven and there is a city that is prepared for you you might not have a house on this earth but there is a mansion that is being built for you go a little bit further and you will see the God of universe is your dad he is your father go a little bit further and you will see there is a tree that says angels of God are protecting you they are watching over you somebody give God some praise for the truth the Lord had to teach me and still does that to stop eating from the tree of my appearance my accomplishments but to eat from the tree of the truth to eat from the tree of his promises to eat from the tree of what he says about me renew my mind until I think different until I feel different until because see your feeling comes from what you feed on what you feed on comes from what you focus on somebody say focus somebody say feeding and somebody say feeling see feeling is a result of what you feed and feeding is a result of what you focus you focus on yourself you will feed yourself with you you will be aware of you and then you will feel either inferior or you will feel superior but when we feed ourselves on God's Word something begins to change I want you to write